hi guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osereme, and if you're here for the first time please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell today's video is a requested tutorial i want to quickly share with you guys how to make a structured sleeve and i'm going to be making use of these materials here so this pink fabric is doll face that's what i'm going to be using i have my white air stay as well and then i have this hard one which is a peplum stay and lastly i have my boning so these are the materials we are going to be using to create the structure so let's get started with this tutorial so guys the first thing you're going to do is to determine how wide you want the structure you're going to be working with to be now this totally depends on the style you're trying to recreate so for this tutorial i'm just going to work with something not too wide and not too small as well so i want it to be like around five inches by the time we're done um sewing everything down so i'm just going to cut it out with six inches so that by the time i'm done with everything it ends up being about five inches wide so that's what i'm doing right now so i'm just going to ensure that everything i have around to the end of this fabric is six inches and we're just going to go ahead and cut it out as you can see i'm cutting this in a fold because i'm cutting the front and the back pieces together by front and back i mean um the part that is going to show in front and the pa part that is going to serve as the lining for the back so guys this is what i had after i was done cutting it out so this is the width and this other side is going to be the length that's from here down to this place now this is totally going to depend on how long you want the structure to be and where you are going to be placing the structure so if you're taking your client's measurement you will need to measure this on your client's body so because this is a tutorial this is 21 inches so i'm just going to be using this directly so this is what i have for the lining and the actual front piece so i'm going to head over to the iron now and iron my air stay to the both pieces so guys this is what yours is going to end up looking like by the time you iron your estate to it so the next thing i want to do now is to bring my peplum stay you can see it's a little bit hard so you're going to just pick one part of the two um, pieces that we had just now you're just going to pick one of them and what i'm just going to do is to just pin it around this peplum stay and i'll just go ahead and cut it out exactly the same measurements So guys this is what it looks like so this is the stay and this is the fabric that we're going to be working with i want you guys to know that this particular fabric that you're going to be attaching to the stay is going to be the one that is at the back that's going to be serving as the lining so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is i will go ahead and join these two pieces together that's the peplum stay and the lining piece so i'll go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to make two lines with my sewing machine so these two lines i will make sure that is wide enough for my boning to pass through so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine now and stitch two lines on both sides ensuring that is wide enough for my boning to pass through so guys this is what i mean can you see so there's a little bit of space away from the end and then i have my casing on both sides so you see that by the time i place my boning in between you see that there's like enough space for it to stay in there so i've gone ahead to iron this out as well and this is what the other part is looking like so now we we'll place the front and the back pieces now right sides facing each other like this and i'm just going to go ahead and hold it down with my pin and the next thing we'll go ahead and do is stitch it down so guys this is what i had after pinning it down so now the next thing we're going to do is head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch on the first line not the second one the first one so on this other side as well you are going to stitch on the first one so that's the one closest to the end of the fabric if you are working with a very wide fabric you will need to have another boning casing somewhere in the middle so that it will be able to stay perfectly but because this fabric is actually small so we can afford to just have like just two boning casings just like we have here but if you are working with a very wide one you will need to have extra boning casings in between so i'll go ahead now and stitch this down so guys i've stitched it down it's not going to show very much here let's turn it to the back you see i stitch it down here and this is what it looks like so i'll just go ahead and use my scissors to just trim it all the way around 
so when your true cutting it out it's going to look something like this so you have this opening here the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is to turn it over to the right side through this opening this might be a little bit hard because of the peplum stage but just go ahead is actually something that is possible so i'm going to go ahead and press this out very properly so guys this is what i had after i was done ironing it out you can see the boning casings here and here looking really nice and pretty so now this is what it looks like and you can see that if i fold it together it actually has that kind of structural effect because of the peplum stay even though we have not added our boning yet so now the next thing we're going to do is to add our boning to the casings to pass the boning through the casing and as you can see i'm just cutting um, away from the ends of my boning and what i'm doing is leaving about half of an inch away from the end of the fabric and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out and when you're chill with that just pass it through the casing i'll repeat this process as well for the other part So guys i really loved how this turned out really nicely can you see what i have so by the time we fold it together like this you have a very nice structure so this is a very basic um one this is just for you guys to have the idea of how to go about these kind of stuff so if you're going to be working on something straight you don't need to fold this up like i'm doing here so you can just place it directly on your fabric if you're making something like this in this picture you just place it directly and you're going to cover it up with trimmings or beadings um but if you are looking to make something different you can go ahead and just fold the ends of this in a very nice and stylish way so i'm just going to use my needle and thread to make a very nice style on the ends of this particular structure for you guys to see so guys when you're true with this um this is what you will have so this is what i have right here so by the time you fold it in you can see how nicely it's sitting imagine having this across a sleeve it will look very nice so when you are placing this on your fabric you're most on your blouse you're most likely to stitch it directly on the blouse so which means that the uh, seams are going to be open so it's going to be open and it's going to be looking rough so you're going to need to cover it up with a flower or a design trimmings or with beads so you can see how i'm just holding this up with a flower and it looks really nice so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one